Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 5th day of May, 2021, I'd like to take you over here to JM Bullion and look at the live spot prices. Looks like gold is down $1.12 to $17.84.18. Silver is down a penny to $26.48. Platinum is down $3.34 to $12.37.02. And palladium is up $20.91 to $30.25.75. So there you have the live spot prices. Next thing I'd like to do is take you over to the United States Mint, where our video yesterday talked about the enrollment for the American Eagle out of West Point. And that was the proof, and that would be the Type 2. Well, um, I had an email sent to me yesterday or this morning uh, by a gentleman named William, and he contacted the Mint via an email. And this is what they wrote to him. And this was back in February. So it says here regarding product enrollment. Hello, William. Thank you for contacting the United States Mint. Customers who are enrolled in the Mint's product enrollment program for the 2021 American Eagle Silver Proof Coin Product 21 EA will be enrolled automatically to receive the next product in the enrollment series, which in this case would be the 2021 American Eagle Silver Proof Coin with the new design, product number 21 EAN. This also applies to customers who are enrolled in the program to receive the 2020 American Eagle Silver Uncirculated Coin, product 20 EG, and the 2020 American Eagle Silver Proof Coin with S Mint Mark 20 EM, who will be enrolled automatically to receive the 21 EGN and the 21 EMN, respectfully. Boom, there it is. We hope this information is helpful. Best regards to the United States Mint. So all that did was just muddy the waters a little bit more. Because I called the United States Mint yesterday and the customer service representative told me that this particular enrollment would not be available for the Type 2. Um, and obviously we just read the email back in February. So, um, which even gets more muddy because why would they take this from a sold out status and get an add to bag and then you can check out with it still so things are definitely more curious and more curious that's for sure no doubt about it no doubt about it i mean it, and it's an important coin too so hopefully the united states mint will clarify um what's going on there and we can all understand and be on the same page that will be wonderful news now next thing i'd like to do is take you over here to coin week there's an article out may 4th 2021 and it says here arkansas governor hutchison signs bill providing sales tax exemption for coins and bullion it's got the outline of arkansas there and if you did know um, arkansas is the only state in the contiguous united states that has diamonds so and you can hunt for them there too so it's really cool so if you ever get a chance go diamond hunting in arkansas beautiful state on may 3rd 2021 arkansas governor hutchison republican signed into law, Senate Bill 336, creating an exemption from the sales and use tax for coins, currency, and bullion. The bill's primary sponsor, Senator Mark Johnson, Republican, along with its House sponsor, Representative Delia Hack, um, Republican, championed the bill through the legislature, said Dan Hedges, Oro Industries, out of Little Rock. Arkansas dealers, collectors, and investors could not thank them enough for their dedication, says here. In the spring of 2018, Paul Mason, Mason's Coin and Pawn out of Hot Springs, contacted the National Coin and Bullion Association to assist him with an initiative to establish a sales tax exemption for coins, currency, and precious metals bullion. A coalition of Arkansas dealers, including the Arkansas Numismatic Society, was formed, headed by Mason and Tom Poole of Northeast Arkansas Coin Company out of Jonesboro. With the help of hedges. Okay, good. So they hired a lobbyist and oversaw the creation of this bill. The lobbyist, Len Pitcock, of the Premier Group in Little Rock, Arkansas, secured Senator Johnson to sponsor and introduce this bill in 2019. The Senate Review and Tax Committee heard testimony on Senate Bill 389, but the bill did not get enough favorable votes to pass out of the committee before the General Assembly's Cindy adjournment on April 24, 2019. And this just means uh, they adjourned without a day to come back. So sin means without, D like carpe diem, or per diem means day. Adjournment means we're going to take a break. So 
Despite the setback, Hedges preserved picking up the gauntlet to lead the effort without a lobbyist when the legislature reconvened in 2021. Senator Johnson introduced SB 336 to create an exemption from the sales and use tax for coins, currency, and bullion. Imagine if you went to your bank and said, I'd like to buy a box of quarters, please, for $500. And then they said, well, there's going to be a sales tax on that $500 box of quarters. And uh, wouldn't that be something? So this is basically saying we don't want to be charged tax for money. NCBA Executive Director David Crenshaw submitted written testimony in support of the bill and NCBA's board member and sales tax exemption expert Pat Heller, Liberty Coin Service out of Lansing, Michigan, testified in person alongside other local dealers at the Senate Revenue and Tax Committee meeting on March 10, 2021. From there, the bill successfully moved through the legislative process in both chambers and was delivered to Governor Hutchinson on April 27, 2021. So there it is. More states are joining the sales tax exemption for gold, silver, bullion. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the treasurer of Arkansas uh, creates, I mean, after this move, um, creates its own gold depository or silver depository. Uh, that would be very interesting because other states are doing that as well if they haven't already, actually. So listen, folks, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're here and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.